Hey girl, before you get into the rest of this video, I just wanted to ask for you to just give me a smile real quick. And also, I just wanted to say that I love you. So, let's go girl. Hello Virgo, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and I'm going to be doing your weekly reading, love reading between you and your person. We're going to be deep diving the energies of what's going on between y'all and just the relationship between y'all two and just getting some overall advice from Spirit on how to handle this connection for this week. Now, I also do your weekly reading, general reading for your zodiac sign, which I'll put a link to over here should you want to check that out. Um, but when it comes to any of my readings, take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading you some tarot cards. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could. So also, if you do, so if you do rather uh, find some cards that resonate with you, let me know how they resonate with you in the comments below because I just enjoy keeping in contact with y'all and I find it cool to just hear about y'all's uh, situations and figure, like hearing about how it just develops, right? Also, if you do enjoy this reading and my reading style, I would love for you to give me a like and subscribe for ago because it does help out my channel a lot and I'm always super appreciative when you guys take the time to do that for me. But yeah, I'm going to just be pulling the clarifiers right now for y'all's cards, Virgo, and then we'll just get into this reading. Now, I am going to be using Regretless Life Tarot's Oracle deck to get an overall read of this of y'all's energy for this week. All right, we have forgiveness. Even if it wasn't enough, understand that they gave the best that they could on the skills that they had. An apology is not needed after all. Number 18 equaling to nine, Virgo. So write that down for numerology. So this is kind of like a card of putting things in perspective. And now the assured card also came out. Uh, so maybe it's just like forgiveness and being assured that this maybe is like a stable connection um, or what have you. There's just like you can for it's okay it's more so kind of like maybe saying from spirit it's like okay it's okay to forgive they're trying to give you that assurance to have that like relax this is going to work out energy right i enjoy that so on your side of things virgo we have the five of pentacles so this is talking like <laughs> I don't know what happened between you and this person, Virgo, but like they kind of, they just disappointed you. They're upset with you or they're upset with you. You're upset with them in some type of way, some just ex type of extreme disappointment. Their side of things, they're the Emperor card in the reverse. Now this is letting me know, Virgo, where it's just like they're feeling disempowered and judging by the clarifiers I pulled, which we'll get into later, they, it's a lot. The energy between y'all two is the King of Wands. It's interesting energy. So both of you guys, or one of you guys rather, I suspect it's you, Virgo, coming into their power. Like it's one of those things of like put into like a dire situation. So you have to like go deep within and pull something out of yourself. So let's get some talk about the clarifiers that I pulled for you, Virgo, on your side with this Five of Pentacles. On your side, we have the Three of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and then the five of wands in the reverse. So five of wands in the reverse. Upright, this usually, I always kind of associate this card for like collaborative energy of some sort where you want to do something with people where it's just like you want that community connection. This card, when it's in the reverse like this, this is letting me know you don't want to have that group project. You want to be alone. You don't trust the people that's put into your group to do anything with because they disappointed you in that past and that's why you're frustrated with them, right? We have the three of wands where it's just kind of like a situation where it's like, you're overwhelmed with this two of pentacles, but it's just like this three of wands is like, okay, well, what do I do with this overwhelming energy? It's like, how do I make the most of this energy, right? How do I m take this and use it to my advantage energy? It's like, you're kind of just assessing this situation now. It's just like, well, dang, after they disappointed you or after like some type of realization in terms of this connection, Virgo, now you're just left wondering, it's just like, well, where does that leave us from here? Where not even just us, where does that leave me? Where does that leave you in specific, Virgo? Because there's this sign of where it's just like, because of this disappointment, you don't want to even put any trust or anything in terms of this connection. You don't want to give any responsibility to this group project. So let's get into the clarifiers I pulled on their side, Virgo, with the Emperor card in the reverse. Right, let's break into this. They have the Tower card coming in, the Justice card, and then the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. So 
<laughs> this is kind of like a self-explanatory. I really do feel like Virgo, that they made a mistake here. And they're regretting it with the Emperor being in the reverse. There's definitely some type of disempowerment energy coming in here. Um, intuition card came out also. Wow, this <laughs> this Oracle deck is really extremely active for y'all. Usually I only pull like one card and four came out. Uh, so I feel like this is kind of like your intuition was confirmed and something like miss some mistake. They did some mistake that you were kind of intuitive about being like, oh, I feel like they're doing this right. And something either came out, something was confirmed and they had their tower moment and justice happened, right? Karma matched them in this way. Three of Pentacles energy. This is kind of talking about a th third party energy, but this Three of Pentacles energy, this was in the reverse. So it's like a... Uh, it's just like stress all around. Everything's kind of crumbling around them. They don't know how to handle things at this point. They're so used to like, it almost just feels like, um, what's the word that I'm thinking of? It just feels as if like, uh, their pillars of stability in their life are now just all, all of a sudden being uprooted and they don't know how to manage. They don't know how to like go about doing this anymore. And so what I'm getting from this before we get into the energy between y'all two in this relationship, Virgo, is that you're in this position of where you're disappointed and you're trying to figure out what to do now. And spirit with these Oracle cards coming out, I can't help but feel Virgo that there's a reason as to why they're pushing you to have that forgiveness and so on and so forth. So I'm not saying one way or another in terms of this connection, you know what to do with this connection because I don't know what they did, right? I don't know whatever energy that is that they're addressing here. You know, it's just not my place to speak on it, right? I'm not the one going through it. I can only give you perspective of what Puzzle Pieces Spirit is showing me for y'all. But with that intuition card coming forward, you know what you need to do. Energy between y'all two, King of Wands. So coming to power, as I said before, on someone's party, but I feel like it is you. Queen of Fi Wands comes in as the counterpart of where it's just like you're coming into your power, but then the Queen of Wands comes forward as the clarification of being like, actually, sweetie, I am going solo dolo. I'm, I am coming from a place of empowerment, but not you're not in the picture anymore. You're thinking for yourself right now. You are having the wheel and the knight of pentacles. You're taking your fortune. You're taking your future in, in your life into your own hands now. You're almost like it's talking about coming into your power, that queen and king of wands energy and being like, you know what? I'm the master. I'm the creator of my own experience. And you're taking that by the horns. Knight of pentacles, you're walking away from something to go into something new foundationally. So it's almost like you're checked out from this situation. So... If you are checked out from the situation, you're getting assurance from them and being like, from spirit being like, no, yeah, this was the right move. Absolutely, Virgo. So you can take comfort in that, I guess. It's more so like, listen to your intuition, Virgo. And I know it sounds like such a cop out, but if you truly surrender to these energies, y'all, I'm connected to this deck in y'all's reading. If you connect to these energies, you surrender to these energies and let it be if it's meant to be it will be honey that song from somebody i don't know who some country singer your side full moon in virgo your your full moon so i feel like this card says you are good enough so there's just so much assurance being given to you virgo and always just kind of makes me wonder why spirit feels the need to give so much assurance you know, if they're taking the opportunity to really relay this message in this time frame, it shows that they think it's extremely important for that message to come across to you. So it makes me wonder what's going on. Waning Moon, what it, on their side of things, what is it that they need to release? So this is just a learning situation for them. They are having to self-reflect. Now, this is what they need to do. Doesn't necessarily mean they are doing it, right? Luck is on your side is the energy. Um, new moon in Sagittarius. So new moons always talk about new beginnings. And so when you have this in top of your relationship energy, this is letting me know that you might, spirit might be saying luck is on your side in terms of a new connection. That's how I would be taking it in terms of like symbolism for all of this, Virgo. But obviously, again, surrender to your intuition, right? You'll know what to do in this situation. I feel pretty good about it. I don't feel like I need to pull any more cards for you, Virgo. I feel like 
this is reading was more so just meant to give you some assurance in what's going on in your life so um i hope this reading was a resonance to you in some type of way virgo be sure to let me know in the comments if it was and also to give me a like and subscribe if you do enjoy my reading style but um yeah i'm gonna close this reading out but thank you so much for allowing me the opportunity to do this reading for you virgo i love you so much bye